what's happening free game we are coming to you live but not live from our home in london and it's a sunny london the sun is finally here summer where you been it's been all right isn't it the, the old weather absolutely beautiful i know but let us know where you are in the world and how things are there with the hashtag love and not live get us up in the comments free game we love hearing about you guys it's been a while isn't it been a few weeks. Yeah, it has been a while and we've been focusing on some other things, some health related things and... I've got my other hypnosis work coming along. I've been busy with that as well. Yes. So we thought it was about time we connected with you guys and we're doing something really fun today which we wanted to share with you too. Yeah, so you guys will remember in a video not too long ago, we did something new with our bed. We made the world's strongest bed. Still going, isn't it? It's still going strong. It's, that, it's going very strong because it's the world's strongest. A lot of people really appreciated that video, didn't they? So that bed was so good that we actually ended up making one for Sam and Emily. And uh, that's and the second strongest one in the world. Yes. And they love their one. They absolutely love it. However, they really said that they would value more space in their bedroom. So they've decided to get a sofa bed. Emily was thinking she might get a sofa bed. So because it means then they can collapse it and make yeah, it more space. And have that more space during the day. Yeah, so I was wondering what are we gonna do with those IKEA units that we made their bed with. So it got me thinking, okay, what else can I make? So we thought we would try and create a sofa, which was similar, really, really strong sofa, and with loads and loads of storage underneath as well. So we're gonna try and do that today. You might be wondering, what about our existing sofa? But as some of you guys might know, we don't really have one. All we have is these cushions. Just some sofa cushions, which is quite handy because we can move them about, we can change the room. These cushions are actually from our old sofa. If you want to know why we don't actually have a sofa and we just have these cushions, see the video up in the corner there. So what's the first step we take then? Well, we need to clear the room and we'll try some different things out. If it doesn't work, we won't do it. Like, yeah. But it, hopefully it will work and it will make a nice little area here. So it won't be a permanent area, it'll be something that we can change around and take down. And... Yeah, that's the beauty of it. We yeah, can have it so when we want it. Lovely. Yeah. Well, let's get to it then. <laughs> I just let you lift that all on your own. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> I was so busy talking to him that I just didn't just really... take that. Come on. If I have to lift that thing on my own, you can lift this on your own. He's getting me back now for being lazy. Hello. So these are the famous IKEA storage units, which we absolutely love building things with. So this could be the future foundation of our sofa. This could be the future foundation of a house. That's <laughs> the on. That's you the could, challenge, isn't you it? You could, you could build a house out of them. What, and you just store your stuff on the outside? People would come and steal it, wouldn't they? Anyway, let's get it down. Oh, how does it feel? Good. Back cushions on? Yes. Step aside, I'll do the testing from here. Thank you very much. So there we go, all in place. Nice little cozy sofa, Molly. Yee! Yeah. <laughs> the yee sound means it's comfy. What we've done here is we have two of these units underneath together we put the cushion for our old sofa straight on top so it's like the most simple thing and here's just some smaller cushions which we put at the top but obviously getting hold of these is very simple these units are about 26 pounds from ikea and these storage boxes are like three pounds at ikea you can get cushions absolutely anywhere big ones small ones all kinds of shapes some of you may be wondering where do i get a sofa cushion like this from because not many people have an old sofa to get them off. But I guess you, if you wanted to buy a second-hand sofa or something and you could take the cushions. There's loads of websites, guys, where you can put in the measurements of sponge that you want, the thickness of sponge that you want, and they will cut that sponge and send it straight to your door. I know okay. lots of people that do this, yeah. So you can get a nice thick piece of sponge. You can either cover it with a blanket. That's probably the easiest option 
or you can have someone, anyone you know that's good at sewing, or if you're good at sewing, you could upholster it. There are companies that do upholstery as well. So that's quite an easy thing to do. So yeah, this is what we've got so far for our sofa. So far, so far. Why are you always shaking your head at these things? Dad jokes. Dad jokes? You make jokes as well. What about mum jokes? Mum jokes are better. No. Comment below. Who's the better, mum jokes or dad jokes? But you don't even make any jokes for people to comment on. You need to make some jokes and then everyone can comment how bad jokes. they are. Anyway, that's what we've done so far. Can't say that now, probably, can I? <laughs> but we're wondering if we can take this to another level. Do you reckon there's another level? Yes, we thought we could maybe take the ones from our bed, have another one here, see what that would look like. Do you think we can do it? Yeah, I was gonna say, because there's a gap here in the corner. It needs to be filled. Yes. We're going next level. Got some help in, got the big man. So this is the corner sofa so far. And yeah, we're liking it, but we're thinking of adding one more little thing just to really complete it. So we thought one of these double Calax storage units would be perfect for like a nice side table, but it also gives us a bit of extra storage too. So all done guys, nice cozy corner sofa. We've got the side coffee table in here, but I'm thinking as well that we can actually turn it on its side and maybe put the projector on when we want to watch movies and project it on the wall there. So that'd be really nice. The beauty is that because none of this is fixed, we can take it down, rearrange it, set it up again as many times as we want, whenever we want. Because as you guys know, we do yoga in the morning, so we do really value the space. So it's good that we've got it flexible like this. Sofa freedom. Anyway, I want this tested by our expert tester. Jojo! Come in! What do you think, man? Looking pretty snazzy. Pretty snazzy, I like that. It's really nice. I like the little kind of like, like coffee table bit. Like, mm. There, the little plant. Where's the coffee? Mummy? Tea table? Why do they never get called tea table? Yeah, actually. We drink more tea in this house. <laughs> I thought you could be the one to test it out. Come and give it a go. Make yourself at home. You are at home, so that should be easy. Oh, yeah. Cozy? <laughs> <laughs> So what do you think, Jojo? It's pretty nice. It's really is it cosy? Nice. Yeah, it's very cosy. No, on a scale of one to ten, I think it's about an eight and what, a half. What could make it a bit cosier? I think if there's some oranges here for me to eat. <laughs> some oranges? Yeah. You know when you get a new sofa though, it's, it's a rule, isn't it? You don't eat on the new sofa. You know, parents will always tell you, or if you're a parent, you say to yourself. Don't eat on the new sofa. But it always goes out the window though, doesn't it? And I don't even know if this counts as a new sofa. It's still the same furnishings. So yes, I guess you'll get some oranges. Good catch. Yeah. Good catch is. Yeah. Can I have one? Go ahead. Thank you. So mummy, how do you like your new sofa? I love it and I love that we can just set it up whenever we like. It's really cool. If you are somebody, this is a tip of the day. Bit late in the day for that. Baby tip of the day. If you are somebody that wants to do something like this permanently, it's a way to get maximum storage, especially if you live in a small accommodation, like you live in an apartment building or something. It's not just the storage boxes at the front that you can use. For things that you don't want to access all the time, you just lift up the sponge when you want to access those things and you can access them. So it is like you get tons and tons of storage in this. Easy peasy. So that is it for another video, guys. Thanks so much for watching we really really are happy to do this video for you guys we hope you found it useful uh, the last one with the bed you all said that it was really useful and it gave you lots of ideas so we hope this one does the same as well but that is where we're going to end things for today guys so we will see you in the next video just remember keep rising keep rising